Hey guys, what's up? I stack the trend here from One Hive Gazette here with my next video. And in this one, I'm talking about how you can effectively make a fifth giant bomb uh, at Town Hall 9. So I'm a little bit short on attacks. The replays got wiped because of the new little cl uh, Clash Royale advertisement that Supercell added to your news uh, part of your profile. So i a little bit short in attacks, but in this video, I'm going to talk about a certain technique in defending and uh, my base destruction series has been pretty popular uh, which kind of focuses on how a base is set up and how it's um, exploited and how certain things are used by an attacker to overcome what the base is trying to do so I've, I've realized that my um, defensive type videos have been pretty popular so this one is kind of like that um, this is another strategy you can use when defending and making a defensive base at Town Hall 9 so single down or single bombs have been used for a while on the outside of a base to try to kill wall breakers so you, you put the six of them spread out around your base where you think someone's going to try to wall breaker in and the idea is that wall breakers have 42 hit points and these do 42 damage so uh, if you put it like one tile away from your wall a wall breaker can die and that can screw up an attack and that did work for a little while but people have started bringing a test wall breaker so against any good attacker in like an arranged war they're always going to bring four wall breakers to get through a, a town hall nine wall um, it's just something that's become common uh, for everyone to do so at this point it's no longer really effective to put that single bomb on the outside of your base just because um, they're doing it anyway they're bringing that extra wall breaker anyway so whether or not that single bomb is there doesn't have any effect on how they attack so by not having it there, you're not like losing anything. They still have to bring the extra wall breaker just in case. Um, so a better use of your uh, single bombs or your small bombs, whatever you want to call them, is to uh, group them up in a pack of six, and they do just as much damage as a giant bomb. So this is basically how you should set them up. You want to make it so that they um, will go off all at once if you can. So if you have like a defense here and a defense here, hogs will kind of pass through and run over these uh, giant bo or these single bombs. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting them all in like a line like this just because they won't all get triggered at once. The goal here is to take out hogs. That's the main thing that these are going to do damage against. Um, you'll force a heal basically because, let me back out of this for a second. Um, if you look at the actual stats, uh, where are we? I put all my bombs. Oh, no, here we are. If you look at the actual stats of these guys, they do 42 damage and you have 6 of them. So multiply that out, I believe it's uh, 252. Yeah, that sounds right. 252 damage. Um, I think I'm doing the math right. And then a uh, giant bomb does 225. So they actually do slightly more damage than a giant bomb. Now obviously, um, they all have to be triggered at once to get the same effect, but it does work out. Now the reason you don't want to put them in a double set is because um, in order for a double giant bomb set to work, all the bombs, ha or both bombs have to trigger at almost the same time, either the same time or pretty close to the same time. So uh, for hogs running across a double set that has one giant bomb and like four single bombs, the problem is, or at least or six single bombs, whatever, the problem is that uh, it's, it's, they're not all going to trigger at once and in order for it to fit in the same uh, space, you can only bring four of these typically. You might be able to somehow fit six if you do some kind of diagonal set or something, but even still, they're not going to all trigger at the same time, and uh, you're better off just keeping it as a single giant bomb and forcing the attacker to use a heal, because that's a big thing. If you think about it, if you have a base um, and you have you know a set of double giant bombs, then two single giant bombs, uh, using these small bombs, you can basically add a third uh, giant bomb somewhere, a third single one, and this forces the heal for an attacker. They, If they don't heal, their hogs are going to be at very, very low health, and just a few shots from any defense will take them down. If you put them next to a wizard tower, the slash damage combined with that probably will take out a pack of hogs uh, in just a few seconds. So you really you can go anywhere on your base and choose where you want to force a heal for the attacker. Like, see you know, where they're likely, once they know where your stuff is, where they're likely going to come from, and where they're going to probably use hogs at. Like I said earlier, the hog lane, put these in a hog lane. Um, it's, it's a great way to 
force a heal of the attacker and maybe put it somewhere where there's not that many defenses so they don't want to use a heal there. They don't plan on it and they don't want to. So either they have to use a heal earlier than they want to, uh, they have no heals left, or um, they just choose not to heal and they lose a bunch of hogs. So this is a tricky little strategy. Um, it's much more effective than putting them on the outside of your base. So uh, it, it's sometimes kind of a forgotten trap. People don't really talk about it that much. But like I said, if you do the math, it does more damage than a giant bomb. So put it like I showed at the beginning uh, in kind of like a 3 by 2 between two defenses. And if it works out right, um, that's going to really strengthen your base. So in a way, it's like having a fifth giant bomb at Town Hall 9, although I would not recommend trying to use it as a double set. I would stick to just the uh, two giant bombs being a double set to kill hogs at once. But like I said, still very effective as a single. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, don't have many attacks, but once this arranged war starts going, I'll be showing attacks from it. So stay tuned uh, for more videos coming out soon. Uh, later this weekend. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bisectotron out.